Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about role of calcium and IP3 in signaling pathway. IP3 here is install trisphosphate. Calcium and IP3 that's install trisphosphate both are second messengers. What I mean to say here is they are intracellular molecules within the cell that are activated by first messengers and first messengers are always extracellular in nature. These first messengers relay the signal transmit the signal towards the cell and initiate a pathway and in this pathway a second messenger is released which will induce a cellular response. Secondary messengers are therefore one of the initiating components of intracellular signal transduction cascade. The example of second messenger includes cyclic GMP, AMP, installed trace phosphate that's IP3 that we are going to discuss in this pathway, diacyl, glycerol and calcium so in this pathway we are going to see about how these second messengers that's ip3 and calcium are going to affect the cell how they are going to initiate a pathway thereby activating different kind of components for cascade first of all let's draw a lipid bilayer here that's the plasma membrane and then in this plasma membrane there's an embedded protein that's g protein coupled receptor and within the cell we have an endoplasmic reticulum which we are going to draw here this plays a crucial role in IP3 pathway or we can say calcium and IP3 pathway. Here in this pathway the G protein coupled receptor receives a signaling molecule that's first messenger and initiates the process of activating the other components in the pathway. The receptor stimulate GTP binding when GTP binds to a G protein it turns it on and when GTP is hydrolyzed to GDP it's then off. So after turning it on here it activates protein called phospholipase C. Phospholipase C is a class of membrane associated enzymes that cleaves phospholipids and here in that case it cleaves a plasma membrane phospholipid called PIP2 that's phosphatidylene stall 4,5 bisphosphate and it cleaves it into DAG that's diacyl glycerol and install trisphosphate. DAG remains within the plasma membrane. It also acts as a second messenger in other pathways and IP3 is released here which acts as a second messenger in calcium pathway. IP3 quickly diffuses through the cytosol and binds to an IP3 gated calcium channel in the endoplasmic reticulum membrane causing it to open. Calcium ions flow out of the endoplasmic reticulum down their concentration gradient raising the calcium level in the cytosol. After that, the calcium ions activate the next protein in one or more signaling pathways and ultimately we have the cellular response. This is all about calcium and IP3 in signaling pathway. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.